our uh, match coming in. Game one, we, and as I was saying before, this is, de this definitely feels like a hero pick. And we have gentlemen to small battlefield for our game one. Oh, okay. I think he's been, you know, slightly aggressive. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, he 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 is being fairly patient. Just uh, wait, waiting for Vivi to record the swing. Yep. So I think a bit interesting that Vivi opted to gentlemen to small battlefield, whereas I feel. You know, in this matchup, this feels like a PS2 matchup for Vivi. You know, you get more time to really get those spells. I yeah, I do. I do find it uh, quite in interesting. There, there must have there must have been a, a, a reason reason for it. I wish I knew, but it's not coming to me. Maybe Ooh, okay. I like may the idea of the thought. May maybe because of, maybe because of, of, of the stage being you know of average size of, and, two, and two platforms, he can sort of get get an idea of how, how Sephiroth plays while also being you know somewhat fairly safe. And then may maybe pick a uh, uh, Pokemon Stadium too if if it doesn't work out. Yeah, Vivi does still get the benefits of the PS2 style platform layouts. Unfortunately, using the psych up there on a pummel. You know, that's so unfortunate. You hate to see that happen. <laughs> but, I mean, the uh, platform's definitely going to be giving Vivi a bit more of a safe haven to look through those spells, whereas Ishtar going to have to choose his... Um, going to have to choose his entrances a little bit more carefully. Oh, but Vivi is swinging one too many times, unfortunately. Not enough... Oh, no! The, uh... It actually ended up taking his life anyway, but damn, uh, I, I was a little concerned for Ishtar right there when he did that that charge up B. Yeah, it's a little bit of spaghetti on both sides. You know, VB didn't quite have enough MP for uh, Zoom to get back, so I had to do the high whoosh. Ishtar tried to cover it with the uh, Octa Slash, which surely would have killed. But unfortunately for Ishtar, that's going to mean VB living that much longer. And that is a wing offline for Ishtar. Well, well, I must say, the, the match thus far is getting very competitive. And, and uh, one wing is, uh, is on deck. Yeah, and we can even see Ishtar, you know, dropping down from ledge and trying to threaten with a uh, nice crit. Oh, Oh man, uh, Hero definitely wanted to uh, re retire Sephiroth there, went for the ankles. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like I was saying, we saw Ishtar drop from ledge and try to threaten with the forward air, but Vivi doesn't have to ledge trap you if they don't want to. They can, they can come in and kind of like faint out. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're getting more time to look through spells. Ooh. Man, first, first is the, is is the forward tilt, and then it's back air. Now, now we're getting nares. <laughs> and I think that is psych up and oom. <laughs> wow, Vivi just kind of stood there. So Ishtar's got to be so careful. A shield break will absolutely be the end of end of game one. So we'll see. Now, but Accelerado online now. Now, uh, oh. you're very dead. Sephiroth is not living that. I think that was just a, a psych up back air. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Oof was offline. Uh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, that was a great... I didn't even catch that the first time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and Look at that. that. That was the crit, too. Oh, that's why I didn't see it. I was too blinded by the crit. Yo, the hero actually Why did you get so much MP out of that. You got like 25. It was it was a crit and Yeah. It, it was a crit and, and he made sure to to specifically go for that ankle bone. My my man is is is, is uh precise with, with his strikes. Now the one the, now the one good thing about about Sephiroth uh, is that when he hangs on ledge, he's uh fairly hard to sort of uh hit as far as uh you know, in interaction is a concern. Like, you, like you can't really down smash unless unless the down smash itself is like meaty or something. Mm -hmm. I love the way that Vivi is using projectiles at ledge right now. We kind of already saw a little bit here at the the beginning of game two. Vivi really calling out Ishtar's uh, ledge getup timing because I mean that's something that Sephiroth loves to do. 
when they're at ledge is they want to kind of plank there and threaten with hitboxes. But BB's just like, you know, I got these projectiles. If you're going to do the exact same timing, then you're getting these menu spells in your face for it. And you, and you definitely don't want en any menu spells in, in your face. Not Especially not Kaboom. Ugh, screw that thing. Uh, so the, so I'm kind of curious uh, 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 so, uh, so why Ishtar picked... Uh, Take normal battlefield. I assume he did it so that way he has an option to sort of uh, get back on stage. Oh, he lost his life there. Mm -hmm. So, so he, he sort of get back on, on stage if he's ever like in disadvantage. I mean, you know, Sephiroth has amazing juggle potential. You know, up air, obviously. So I have to feel like that definitely plays into it. So maybe trying to make it so that Vivi has a bit more of a hard time when it comes to the disadvantage. But we'll see, you know, Ishtar already down a stock, has to work on Vivi's first stock right now, not quite getting the Octo Slash. Uh oh. Vivi a little bit slow on the, the trigger, you know, Octo Slash has crazy end lag. Man. Uh, you spent a little bit too much on, uh, on the sizzle he, he right missed there. He missed the opportunity to punish it and actually die for it for, 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 for like a different reason. A little uncharacteristic of of Vivi right there. I guess I, he, I guess he wanted the uh, a particular spell to, to, to sort of end uh, Sephiroth's life, but couldn't find it. Maybe I think honestly that that to me reads as like Vivi just you know playing around a little bit too much and you know you ended up over overdrawing your card and. <laughs> Ooh, didn't, yeah. didn't have enough MP to get back home. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is uh, is play around with your, with your food uh, against Sephiroth, man. Uh, otherwise, you, you're going to get despair. Vivi is not even phased when Ishtar blade dashing right in, right in front of them. I I had to at least okay, respect the confidence. I, oh. That Ishtar. was questionable DI there by Ishtar. I thought he he, he could have he could have lived that, but maybe he wasn't prepared for, for, for the back air. So I think what happened right there is Ishtar was expecting BB to land on the top platform, and then Ishtar was going to threaten with an up air, but Vivi just came down swinging, and that's kind of the thing is like if you're not really able to consistently set up the pressure, you know. Vivi just doesn't have to care. Yeah, and I and I am seeing the absolute struggle with uh, w w w keeping up with uh, Vivi over here. So I think the, that down I, air was a little bit misspaced. I don't think it would have uh, two frames. Yeah, I, I still re I still respect the, the attempt though. Yeah, I mean you know Ishtar's got to start finding these options to get Vivi stuck. Oh, first no. kill screen. Oh no, he saw the uh, the, the kaboom, but uh, he did. He did not anticipate how, how long it, it stuck out, and, and it managed to actually kill him out on the last frame. Yeah, I think Ishtar was expecting. He already used both jumps to get away, but it just still had a little bit of suction. I, I, hey, look, I, hey, I don't too. blame him. Like, that kill, it still got me. <laughs> There's I, no escape. <laughs> I... I do not uh, blame him, and that was sort of an unfortunate of course, scenario because he, because he had to either quickly burn the 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 up B to uh, sort of push himself forward, but, but then BB would have probably smacked him for it and potentially have got killed him right there, and I, and I don't think he 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 could have air dodged through it safely either. I think. Well, I mean, you can dodge air dodge through Kaboom. You just have to do it really well. Yeah, that was zero MP on BB. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, I really think at that moment, Ishtar's only option was to correctly air dodge.